Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode. In this series I'm going to be building Academy 135th scale Jagdpanzer 38T, better known as the Hetzer. I'm going to try something new and do this in two parts. The first part is going to be the build and the second part is going to be where I paint it, do the weathering and all the other effects. How do you as a viewer feel like watching the videos? Do you prefer it in less parts or more parts? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Oh, I almost forgot. I got the gun barrel from Aba as well. So, let's get on with the build. So let's start by building the road wheel assembly. I'm using Tamir's extra thin cement. Those are then attached to the lower hole.
The photo etch comes with a grill cover and an exhaust cover. And this is glued to the model using rocket rapid sipper glue. I created damage on the grill by using my tweezers to gently twist the mesh. This is how it looks. The only issue I have with the kit is the gaps that are present between the panels, as you can see here. Other than that, it's, it's a decent kit. I used a piece of evergreen styrene to reinforce the hatch. The outer rim of the road wheels were made out of rubber, so what I've done is I got a hobby knife and started chipping away at them to create damage effects. The dry bucket was left unglued to make it easier when attaching the tracks. Liquid cement was also added to the upper hole.
Building the gun assembly was a bit of a pain in the ass, I was unable to film it all. A 0.5 drill piece was used to create holes for the new grab handles. The grab handles were made out of 0.5 brass wire and were bent into shape using a pair of long nose pliers. Once the grab handles were made into shape, I then used the pliers to just snip them off. These were then glued into place using Rocket Rapid Super Glue. Mr. Service of 500 was used to create armour texture. This was created by stippling the brush over the model. I applied about three layers to create the casting texture. Tamir's epoxy putty was used to create weld beads. You want two pieces of equal sizes and twist them together until they become one colour. You then need to roll this on a piece of plastic card with some water to create really thin noodles. You're looking for something like this. 
Once you've done this, use a western cocktail stick to place the epoxy putty into place. And then gently begin to roll it into the, the weld steam. Cut any excess off with a hobby knife. Once you've done that, you can then begin to start creating your weld texture. I created a tool using a Dr. Pepper can and a cocktail stick. If you go onto the Night Shift channel, you'll find a tutorial on how to make this. It's very easy. I then use a hobby knife to scrape away any excess of unwanted epoxy putty. This is how it looks once it's done. The rest of the weld textures are all applied in the same manner. And that's the construction stage finished. The side arm was used creating 0.012mm brass sheeting. I then used a pair of pliers just to bend it up into shape to create some damaged textures and like you know. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and if you liked it hit the like button. If you didn't like it hit the dislike button. Also leave any comments on the vice and questions that you may have and I will answer them. So yeah, once again thanks for watching and goodbye.